class. This is just a quick demo how to do leader dots, okay? They're a little tricky in InDesign, okay? What you don't want to do, <coughs> excuse me, is select the type tool and say we want some <coughs> dots between the E and the dollar sign. Here, let me get that. Don't do this. Use your period and just do, don't do this. It's not the right way to do it and it'll end up not lining up properly with the one below and the one below it just because there are a different number of characters okay this is the way to do it it's fairly easy if you follow these directions you do one thing off and you can't do it <coughs> uh, not a whole lot of people like this uh, um, leader dot uh, the way Adobe Illustrator uh, I'm sorry Adobe InDesign has it set up but it, it is what it is right okay click where you want there to be the start the leader dots okay put in a tab tab key is on the left hand side of a Mac keyboard there you go here's one down here <clears throat> as you can see I'm, gonna, I'm starting my list of apps actual items on my takeout menu if you want to include the dollar sign it's up to you I do it just to just in case somebody is from out of the country and they don't know if it's euros or yen or you know whatever it's this is dollar signs okay all right let's go now cover let's select everything go up to type go to tabs let go and here we go we got this whole uh, tab structure set up for us now you want, generally speaking, you want this to be uh, aligned with the right. So I'm going to definitely click right justified. That's like right aligned. And it's already here, but I'm going to put one dot in here. That's your leader dot. Just type a dot in there. A period, I mean. Okay, so let's go back here. Uh, and... Let us now select an area up on the bar here. See this bar? It's not here. It's not the actual ruler. It's this middle bar. And just click as close as you can to this triangle. There you go. And you can move it. If you hold down and so you can get as close. There you go. And that's it.